Good evening and welcome back once again. Today we are playing Zurich in the Champions League. Now remember we are joint top with Chelsea. We're through to the knockout stages but it would be great to get top spot by ourselves. Keep the wins going. Had to make a few changes. I had sort of rested Castro thinking he'd be able to start today and Cousins too. And they're on downward conditions so they're not going to play unfortunately. Bellingham's still out injured. He's only out for another six days. He's going to miss this match and probably one more. Martinelli's starting up top rather than on the left. Mudrick's coming in there because he's on that upward flashing which means that he's going to improve dramatically at the moment so we want to play him as much as possible let's hope we get three points against Zurich today so you'll go back at home against Zurich in the Champions League like I say we're through to the knockout stages anyway so there's not much riding on this but we would like to get top spot shame about Bellingham picking up that knock a couple of matches ago um, I'm not actually sure when he picked it up in the match we'll jump in though we had a 6-0 win against, I think it was Valencia in the last match in the league. And we are starting to get to that sort of Christmas season, which just means that we're getting nearer that transfer window, which I'm looking forward to. Mainly because we're going to get some of our players back. We've got the likes of Messi out on loan for six months because we've got a ridiculous fee for him just for being on loan. I think it was £22 million for a six-month period. Um... The likes of Debushi's on loan or second choice, well, not second choice right back, but he will probably tag team with Trippier. You can see Stonk today. Trippier's been fantastic. Vieira. Oh, what a goal. Trippier with the assist, but it's all about the finish here. Wonderful strike from Vieira. Beautiful strike, like an arrow. Keep it. I don't know if he was uh, unsighted there, but he seemed to react a little bit late. Let's have a quick look. I'm not sure what we'll see. It's a nice angle, actually. No, he had plenty of view, but it was just beautifully struck. That's a good start. But like I say, in January, we'll be getting the likes of Messi coming back, who I really didn't want to let go back on, turn down that amount of money for just a six month period. When we've got plenty of other players. Um, in place, you know, the likes of Diaby, etc. Debushi as a uh, cover for Trippier. Remember, we sold Emerson because we got good money for him, and I just, he wasn't quite doing it for me. And Trippier, to be honest, he's been better than him already. Um, even though he's a regen and he's only 16 years old. And then obviously, we'll have Debushi coming back. So we'll have two. Wing backs on each flank. Obviously, back is starting today, but we've got Zirkov as the regen as well. Oh, wonderful ball, and uh, Diaby just couldn't quite get onto it. Not sure who else is coming back, though. And then, obviously, we'll have a look to see, you know, what other regens come through in January. Um, Pedri, that's blocked. And remember, Pedri is currently on loan till the end of the season and we do have an option to make that permanent which we will do, it's just a matter of when we're going to have enough uh, money to do so it's actually the salary budget that's the, the main sticking point here's Modric Herrera oh good save lovely strike from him Herrera again. Great play. Ah, oh, it's blocked though. Lovely little dummy. But there was uh, another defender in the way. Yeah, I mean, the salary we we uh, are going to pay for Pedri is ridiculous. It's, it's astronomical. But he's worth it. Um, and we will eventually try and reduce that. You know, after he's been here a while, we'll try and renegotiate his contract and hopefully even if we just reduce it down a little bit it'll save a lot of money like percentage wise um, I think we've got more than enough money in the transfer actual fee uh, pot 
to buy him it's just the salary and I've already projected it so I know we'll definitely have enough before the season ends I think it's going to be about February or March when we have enough and we can make that permanent any time as long as we have the funds available as long as it's before the end of July I believe it is we'll have Pedri as a, a permanent signing and he's been magnificent as you would expect well that was unfortunate because Vieira was taken out. I'd have rather taken the free kick because I was just about to play the ball back to him. Um, Got to be careful here. Oof. Well, it was acrobatic. It was way off target, but it was a chance... And I wouldn't say we're exactly thin on the ground in terms of squad, but maybe a tiny bit. Um, another two or three bodies then coming back, the likes of Messi, the likes of Debussy. I think that'll make a difference when we've got, you know, a lot of games coming thick and fast. DRB hasn't been involved too much yet. How they don't get uh, fouls given for that when they're just launching themselves. Don't know. Nice tackle from Martinelli now. GRB. Ah, poor touch. Should have been in there. Just turned the wrong way, really. It's nearly half time. We've got that early goal, but haven't created too many more chances I mean Herrera had that fairly long distance shot oh, it's got to be a yellow and I think Vieira might have picked up a knock here God's sake it's a terrible tackle hope he's not injured oh, nice play from Trippier there just couldn't quite get the pass in and we don't get any luck there uh, this could be bad oh, great tackle from Cossonu Fabio Vieira I didn't actually realise he had gone off but that makes sense Herrera Martinelli and it's two lovely pass from Herrera just a little Dink round the corner over the defender. Great tackle from him. Wait for Martinelli to make his run. A little dink over there around the defender. Smashed in for Martinelli. The keeper probably should have come out, to be fair. Wonderful pass. And that's more like it, really. 2 0, it will be at half time. So, back in the second half. So, we get some more goals. Want to keep a clean sheet. Ideally, if we can. If we get a bit unfortunate. It was a good tackle, and. Well. A decent tap from her but he doesn't come away with the ball. Good interception for Cosinou. Oh, it deflects off our own player there. Vieira, yeah, uh, good work from him. Martinelli. Martinelli again. DRB. Oh, it's got to be a foul. How way, Ref? How is that not a foul? Oh, my God. I honestly don't know how they get away with this. DRB, Mudrick, DRB, and it's three. That's more like it. Mudrick and DRB linking up. Pretty poor defending. The passes weren't the best here. This one here was pretty slow. The defender should have got that, I think. Great finish, though.
Yeah, that pass surely should have been intercepted. Lovely strike. So the, uh, the three front men involved in the goals today. And obviously Vieira with that wonderful strike early on. Really loving the signing of Trippier that we made. Now, partly got him because I'm a Newcastle fan. Um, he's a great player anyway. But that certainly swayed it a little bit. And it's uh, definitely paid off. Oh, lovely play there. Oh, <laughs> just kicked the table as I was uh, trying to strike that. You might have heard it. Oh, nice play. Well intercepted there, though. Pedri, Mudrick, Pedri again. Vieira. Oh, Pedri just couldn't quite get there. And we do get a free kick, uh, a corner out of it. Let's make some subs now. So we've made our full three changes. Xerxy is going to come on for Mudrick, and we're going to switch Martinelli back out to his uh, normal position about wide on the left. Lee Kang in, coming in in that right wing position. He's played there a couple of times in place of Diaby. And we are going to bring on Cousins for Herrera to give him a rest because Bellingham is still going to be out for the next match. Probably going to need Herrera there as a backup. Cousins is on a downward red, but you know we're winning now. Doesn't matter too much. Give him some game time. He's fully fit. Trippier taking the corner on this side. Zixi Nelly in on the action straight away. But he's Kang and Lee, the, uh, one of the other subs. Pedri, or oh, wide. He hasn't been involved too much today, Pedri. A lot of the players bypassed the, uh, the central three. It's really been on the wings, apart from that early strike from Vieira. Although Herrera's been involved a fair bit. So it's really been, Vieira got the early goal, hasn't been involved a massive amount since. Um, Herrera been involved a couple of times. Is that a free kick, is it? He hasn't played bad, Pedri. It's just uh, you can't have everyone absolutely on top of the game every every game anyway. You just play the way the game goes. Depends on the opposition. Oh, Kang and Lee with a lot of space here. Here is Kusons the uh, sub. Pedri. Pedri, oh, another corner. I'm not sure if that was going to be on target or not. Defender would have definitely uh, felt that uh, one. Trippier, oh. going for that first time volley. Wasn't badly struck, but lots of bodies in the way. Easily taken from the keeper there. So about 15 minutes left. It's very comfortable. 3-0. There's Martinelli. Now Xerxes. Oh, good save. Well struck from Xerxes there. Nice, nice play. First chance he's really had since coming on. Pedri, Zixi again. Kang and Lee. That's oh, not a great ball. Lovely play. Pedri. <laughs> nice little ball to Kang and Lee there. He somehow dinked it around the defender. Vieira Pedri Pedri again oh straight to the keeper lovely play though nice passing 
managed to keep it. Pedro and Vieira seem to have a great chemistry at the moment. There we go, again. <laughs> again, it's blocked. Cousins wins it back. Oh, nice play there. Oh, Nelly Nelly with a, a goal. It's been coming. We've played well in the last sort of 20 minutes. Just not finding that uh, that finish. Oof. Good save. Bounced right in front of him. Yeah, and out. Trippy it. So you can see, surely, oh, how has he missed that? How is he not connected? And here it is, full time, 3 0. Pedri only with a 6.5, although I thought he played very well in the last 20 minutes, but he was a little bit absent in the first half. Trippier, Herrera, Mudrick, Vieira, Martinelli all getting good ratings, the subs getting good ratings. Do you all be getting man of the match? I, I'd probably disagree with that. Vieira or Herrera probably had the, the better all round performance. A solid win there. And as I thought, unfortunately, Vieira did pick up a knock. It looks like he's going to be out for five days, so it's not too bad. It means he's going to miss probably two matches at least. Bellingham's still out for two days, so he'll miss the next match. And just to let you know, Chelsea also did win their game, and it is the final game coming up soon in the group stages, so all to play for there. Whoever wins that match will finish top of the group stages. But join us next time where we're back at home in the league. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.